Okay, party people. We want to go through the dimensions. And um, hopefully the camera will do it. Starting with the first dimension. The first dimension is consciousness. Consciousness is defined by time, light, photons, superstring theories, the superstrings, energy, love, <coughs> yourself. There's no body, no form, it's just consciousness, first dimension. In the first dimension, your experience becomes your reality. Now to the second dimension. Second dimension is awareness. Second dimension defines space-time, illusion, <coughs> atoms, subconscious, differentiation, separateness, analog, duality. In the second dimension, interpretation becomes your reality. Third dimension, identity. Third dimension defines space, time, gravity, past, present, future, conscious, subconscious, and unconscious, physical matter, and the Holy Trinity, or Trinity. In the third dimension, events manifest to become your reality. Okay? Now, to the fourth dimension. We're talking about many identities now. Many versions, many worlds, many lifetimes many realities, coexistence. That's why 4D is somewhat out of whack with good and evil and divas and gods and kingdoms and whatnots that we have to restore. It's a holographic testing ground. In the fourth dimension, many possibilities coexist. The fifth dimension, the spirit world. Many dimensions after death, before incarnation, or even other dimensional sight if you have the capacity to open your third eye to look into the fifth world as in the spirit world where things are really in their true nature what they are so in the fifth dimension your choice manifests that has to do with your magic sixth dimension the creator the hexagon the cells of life <clears throat> the laws of life in the sixth dimension thought your thought manifests, okay? Now the seventh dimension. You have many creators, many things combined, making the seven as in the God number. So the seventh dimension, your core desire manifests. To know what that is, is the trick. In the eighth dimension, Many universes coexist, beginning and end, build and destroy, create and destroy, attract or repel, unify or diffuse. In the ninth dimension, we reach all that is, full awareness, fully born into the capacity of knowing for all that is. In the tenth dimension, the impossible becomes possible. Like a thought that you've never had all of a sudden enters your mind and you can manifest that through the layers of dimension that I have mentioned. The eleventh dimension. In the eleventh dimension, we move beyond possibility. We no longer have to make things possible for all things are, which is the gateway to the much higher realms. The twelfth dimension is the source, God, or what you call prime creator. Twelfth dimension, you reach source code level, which is the prime creator. And on a thirteenth dimension, just to give you an idea how this goes, we have many prime creators. And in the thirteenth dimension, the dimensions become infinite. And the further up you go, the more seamless the dimensions will be. And uh, the dimensional aspect is based on an example given by a good friend of mine who created something that's called thegameoftime.com. Excellent manifestation cards and decks and dimensions to tap into to find out how you work and um, how you function. I personally 
do readings I don't I don't do tarot and I lean on you can say liquid crystal activation that's the first segment the second is galactic heritage he race memory healing and activation and the third is like the biggest reading that I do that is called the human operating system reset mode that is using symbols and cards to communicate with your soul to find out what is your subconscious subroutine <clears throat> running your life where are your limits where's the broken record where are you being repetitive and how could you fix that and um, these are three different sets you can do all three and um, I always go when I do that with people I go full blow I go for what I need and what I resonate with to heal myself the mission is to activate you to turn you into an activator as in galactivations meaning that you get into your healing capacity you get your business online you get going you get to work you don't sit around and waste time figuring out what is my purpose in life because you are here you are purposeful you are sending, so is everybody else. We don't believe in the doom and gloom. We believe in that we can be solution oriented and fix the system once and for all. Thank you for watching this. Namaste.